Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee, and I thought I would do one of these informative videos for you guys real quick. And the reason I want to do this one is I did one the other day, actually a few weeks back, about how gorillas get enough protein to be the size that they're at, and it spawned some other questions, and it was a really, really popular video. People really liked it, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on that trend and answer a question that several people asked in there. And what people wanted to know is why are apes so much stronger than humans? And without even weight training, it's like it doesn't make sense. If we're that closely related, we have similar muscle structures, similar skeletal structures. Why can an untrained female chimpanzee who weighs 120 pounds deadlift eight, 900 pounds without any training? Uh, a big silverback male gorilla, you know, he only weighs twice as much as a big competitive bodybuilder but can probably deadlift triple what he can. A gorilla that size, a fully grown silverback gorilla who's weighing over 400 pounds can probably, if he had to, could probably pull 3,000, 4,000 pounds of force. You're dealing with massively powerful animals and they don't train, they don't use steroids, they're just naturally that strong. So what is different about us versus them? Well, one factor is definitely going to be the fact that we are an endurance-oriented, not a power-oriented species, but that's a topic of a whole other video. I really want to cover that later, too. I think that's interesting from a sports perspective uh, and an anatomy perspective for us to look at. But there's some, some other factors going on. That's just one of them has to do with our fiber distribution and leverages. There's other factors, though. Humans are really one of the most specialized and unique species on Earth, and that's the reason we've been so successful we've been able to use certain tools in our anatomy that has helped us use our intelligence to do things. It's allowed us to communicate differently than other animals. It's allowed us to build things differently than other animals using our intelligence. But it's not just the fact that we have a higher intelligence and cognitive ability. It's that we have very specialized tools. For example, this is going to be a very similar distinction when you deal with strength. You've got to look at things like hearing. Humans, for example, have a completely different type of hearing than most other mammals. Like people always say things like your dog or your cat can hear better than you do. Actually, they really don't. We hear just as well as they do. We have a different type of hearing. They can hear a much further range, higher and lower pitch than you or I are capable of hearing at our normal range, much, much higher. They can hear things that are too quiet for us to hear due to the range and the frequency. And that could even be distance and further away. So they'll hear things that you may not hear further out, a smaller movement. However, the distinction is that your dog or cat can't understand the fine distinction in sounds. Now, people will think that their pet can understand the words you're saying, but they really can't. They can understand about three syllables. And every one of the syllables and sounds that you make sounds like two or three different syllables to them. You literally sound like womp, 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 womp like Charlie Brown, but they can learn to pick up that pattern. And if you do the same kind of womp womp sound for them, like the, again, like the Charlie Brown teacher, your dog or cat can learn that pattern. But as far as individual speech recognition, they do not have distinctive enough hearing to understand it. That is a skill that seems to be, in terms of mammals, mostly unique to humans. Although some great apes do have the same thing. And that's allowed us to develop language much better and communicate more effectively because that is one of the secrets to our success is our ability to work together as a team and communicate far more effectively than most other animals, even herd and pack animals. So that's one example of human specialized uh, physiology. When it comes to the strength component, we have another specialized skill in, as far as our physiology goes. And it's not that we're weaker. We're weaker in terms of generating maximum force. We absolutely, our muscles, even from our top trained athletes, pound for pound, our best athletes in the world with years and years of top level training and anabolic steroids are still going to produce slightly less force than another great ape with the same amount of muscle and the same muscle mass. But the trade off is that we have much better fine motor skills. Our ability to write and manipulate little tiny objects better with our fingers, our ability to be far more gentle and finite and refined with little fine movements with light touch, which is everything from the ability to pull a trigger on a gun easier, to writing, to building a watch, to typing on your computer. Uh, the great apes do not have the finite motor skills to do those things because they're geared more towards strength and power, which is going to help them more in their environment, just being able to produce maximum strength instantaneously. Our ability to do little finite things 
has come at a price. We have a different type of neuromuscular efficiency accordingly. So we lose that maximum power and strength they have, but with it, our nervous system and peripheral nervous system has given us the ability to have far more controlled, subtle, finite movements, those fine motor skills, which allowed us to build tools. That's allowed us to build tools and manipulate tools far easier than these great apes and to, to do little intricate things, which again comes down to writing, communication, we, we have developed all these other skills that have helped us work together as a group to build better tools, better equipment, and tools have made the difference in our thriving at the expense of we have lost large amounts of power and strength for it. And again, that's one of the reasons. Again, there's another, there's a muscle fiber distribution component, but that's a whole other topic. But in terms of why we are weaker than the apes, the other component outside of the muscle fibers is that we have much much better fine motor skills and that's the trade-off part. the nervous system can only be so great at any one thing and that is what we specialize in just like we have very specialized hearing as a species we also have very specialized strength so we don't have quite the extreme ranges that these other animals do but when it comes to our specialized skill set we are much much better and that's the difference so that is why humans are weaker than great apes all right, guys, but well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.